Uh, I went to Gale Middle School. Uh, I can remember when the school was being built and my sister went to Stafford, so that was a little different. I guess I had planned on going to Stafford when I was younger. Uh, so coming by and seeing the building half finished and then having an open house and the building was still kind of in pieces uh, was kind of an interesting experiment, <laughs> experience. I remember being very excited. I actually used to come by here every Sunday on the way to my grandma's to see the progress of the school being built. So I actually walked the halls before they were real halls. I remember when they put the football bleachers in being excited. So it was nice to come in and see everything completed since I had kind of seen it built from the ground up. I remember our open house when we came because it was obviously a brand new school. I was one of the ones that came from North Stafford High School. And when they came together here, it wasn't an us versus them. They just, the camaraderie started almost immediately. The kids just really came together as a group and uh, they really melded together and it just, it was just really nice. The first three classes that were here, we were made up of Brook Point, Stafford, and North Stafford. And so I came from North and we were the biggest group to come. And the team thing when I first come here was my big thing. You know, I work alone a lot, but it's nice to have the team behind me. I remember mostly all the excitement that was in the building. People, you know, seemed to be very energized and enthusiastic to just be part of something new. I would say that a lot of the students that I had in class seemed to know each other even if they were coming from other schools. Yeah, to be honest, I, I tried to fight and stay at North Stafford, um, you know, part of sports teams there and, and didn't want to go to the new school and uh, try different ways to stay as a, as a transfer at North Stafford instead of coming to Colonial Forge. But um, once I got here, uh, met some of my peers and some of the new students from some of the other schools and uh, soon thereafter, you know, Colonial Forge became home. First day of school, I remember it was kind of weird for us all because we were going someplace new. You know, all of our other friends who were still back at our other schools, they just got to go back and were familiar and, you know, just kind of walking into comfortable. We didn't necessarily know what we were working, walking into. I, I do recall coming in and, you know, there were students wearing letter jackets and and um, spirit wear from the other schools. And so for the first couple months even, you know, you still saw the North Stafford, Stafford High School, Brook Point um, jackets and, and colors throughout the school. But as the year got on, that started to dissipate and the Colonial Forge colors really started to show. It takes some getting used to when you're opening a new building and you've been pulled out of your old one, but I didn't, I didn't ever feel like anybody was unhappy to be here at all. It was, they settled in as, as far as, as I could see. I just remember the students just, it's the energy, I don't even know how to explain it, but just the energy in the building that everybody was working together and, you know, we were all in it together. Students, teachers, everybody was just thrown in. So you're gonna swim or sink and it seemed like they wanted, the vibe was to thrive. You know, it was, we were going to be, that truly soar above others was sold and um, the students bought into it. And I think teachers bought into it too. It would be much different if you were a new teacher going to a school where the teachers have been like me, have been there for 20 years. I think you felt a lot more comfortable coming into a brand new place where everyone was kind of in the same boat together. Um, that was a really unique experience. Nice. I remember um, in the pre-planning week when we were doing those team building things, I saw Michelle Darley with a, a sweatshirt on that had the little I love you handshape on it. And that made my heart feel good. There was somebody else. That was a, a, a boost in my career because I was teaching for a long time and it kind of just gave me a new sense of energy all over again. But that's why I remember all the energy that everybody seemed to have. So my brother and I, you know, I drove him because he was a freshman that year. And then my boyfriend at the time, who's now my husband, his sister was also coming here. So like we all, several of us kind of got together and we all like caravaned over. So we at least parked next to people that we knew and got to walk in with people that we knew because walking into that cafeteria with people from other high schools, you didn't really know what it was going to be like. 
<laughs> yeah, I think it was exciting because I still had my core group of friends that I grew up with, but I think all of us ended up growing a lot more because we were forced to meet new people and, you know, from different schools and had we stayed at our old schools, we kind of would have gone with the same people, same crowd. So I think we all grew a lot more from the experience. I think Dr. Martin kind of set that tone that we were going to be a better school and, and I think the students fed into that and came together as one. I saw a Colonial Forge group come together that year. I thought that the bonding was incredible.